sustainability and climate protection are crucial challenges for our society. With the European Green Deal, EU member states have pledged to achieve climate neutrality by the year 2050. This requires rapid and significant emission reductions alongside strategies to offset unavoidable harmful emissions. Hydrogen is a critical element in transforming the energy, industry and mobility sectors. At Montan Universiteit Leom, research on hydrogen has been a central focus for many years. Montan Universiteit Leom has built a new research center dedicated to hydrogen and carbon technologies. This state-of-the-art facility will play a pivotal role in advancing and scaling these technologies. Covering about 750 square meters, the facility will serve as a hub for interdisciplinary research and development. The insights gained will form the basis for progressing towards industrial implementation. Hydrogen is mainly required in two industrial sectors, crude oil refining and fertilizer production, specifically ammonia synthesis. Currently, hydrogen is almost exclusively produced from natural gas through steam reforming, which converts the natural gas into hydrogen and CO2. Energy consumption and CO2 emissions are critical considerations in hydrogen production. While electrolysis is regarded as an environmentally friendly method, it is sustainable only if its high energy demands are met using renewable sources. Steam reforming is more energy efficient, but results in significantly higher emissions. Methane pyrolysis, a process researched at Montan Universiteit Leoben, offers a promising alternative with substantially lower energy requirements and reduced CO2 emissions. This technology is a game changer in the effort to tackle climate change. Pyrolysis breaks down methane into hydrogen and carbon without emitting CO2. Electrolysis, on the other hand, splits water molecules. Using a certain amount of renewable energy, electrolysis can produce this amount of hydrogen. In comparison, methane pyrolysis, which splits methane molecules, can produce significantly more hydrogen, about four to five times as much with the same energy input. At the research center, two distinct methods for methane splitting are being explored in greater detail. Pyrolysis in a liquid metal bath and pyrolysis in high temperature plasma. But what exactly is the product of methane pyrolysis? The product contains unconverted methane and solid carbon. At the research center, we are creating methods to separate solid carbon and methane from this product, allowing for the efficient extraction of hydrogen. This hydrogen can then be used in various industrial applications. Our first step is to separate the solid carbon. This process is straightforward, similar to how a conventional vacuum cleaner uses a filter to separate solids from gases. In our case, at temperatures up to 600 degrees Celsius, Therefore, we use high-temperature resistant ceramic filters capable of withstanding these conditions. After the hot gas filter, we are left with a gas mixture of hydrogen and unconverted methane. To separate them, we use a membrane filter unit which acts like an extremely fine molecular sieve, sorting molecules based on their size. Solid carbon has applications in energy storage, such as supercapacitors and batteries. In the future, it'll also play a key role in advancing new technologies in steel production. Agricultural applications are particularly interesting. Collaborating with the University of Natural Resources and Life Sciences and the Austrian Agency for Health and Food Safety, Montana Universiteit Leoben is studying the impact of carbon as a soil amendment. Carbon enhances soil by improving water and nutrient retention making plants more resilient to drought stress. It also increases the soil's capacity to absorb water during heavy rainfall, 
reducing runoff and the leaching of nutrients. Beyond scaling the complete methane pyrolysis process chain, Montan Universiteit Leom is also exploring various technologies across the entire hydrogen and carbon value chain. At the research center, this includes utilizing biomass residues as feedstock, refining and processing carbon, converting product gas from biomass pyrolysis into syngas or synthetic fuels, and applying hydrogen in metallurgy and recycling processes. In the future, the surrounding green spaces of the research center will serve to demonstrate practical applications of carbon. The site will also foster knowledge exchange between the university and the public. The Research Center for Hydrogen and Carbon represents a significant milestone in sustainability and technological advancement. Montan Universiteit Leom is making a profound impact on climate protection and the effective use of resources.